example. Now then, we're on the A66 heading over to uh, Yule's Water and we're going to make a substantial stab at uh, doing the Yule's Water round. Um, just behind Lily, Lily's with me, um, is uh, the Yorkshire Dales, Land of the Gods. So, um, Lisa through the week has made some corn mints, uh, onion and sweet corn and put some gravy granules uh, with it and made a gravy up and then dehydrated the lot. And we've also got some uh, Idaho mash for tea. And then in the morning we've got some uh, some porridge, porridge with dried fruits. A couple of snacky bits on the way around. We're using the trail star tonight at some point. Uh, first time you've been in the trail star, isn't it, sweetheart? Yes, it is, yeah. Um, so that's going to be good fun. And we'll just have to see, uh, you know, how far we get round. Um, we've got a bit of a time constraint. We need to be back in the car, uh, sort of mid-afternoon tomorrow, really. Um, but other than that, it's going to be a good one. And um, I'd like to offer Lisa the opportunity to explain um, why we're using the de-evolved uh, coffee instead of the proper evolution of coffee, which was the coffee satchels. Lisa? The coffee bags on the right. Why do we need more coffee bags, Lisa? I threw the ones away. You threw the reusable coffee bags away? Yes, I did. How many coffee bags did we have? I think we had 10, but I haven't thrown 10 away because we've given some away to other people. So how many have you thrown away? Probably about six or seven. So with the 10 that's going to arrive, how many of those are you going to throw away? I'm not going to throw them away. Does this mean I'm going to have evolved coffee for the rest of my trips? No, shut up. <laughs> Stay tuned. is um, a yard that's basically parking for three quid we spoke to the guys telephone numbers there asked about leaving it overnight for six quid yeah that's fine um so we're going to walk down by the side of the lake um i'm i'm contemplating pitching up at angle town you've never been there have you so that's what we're doing and uh, it's dry <laughs> but now we did wear the packs um lisa's carrying eight kilos exactly and mine's weighing nine kilos the bugs are out, I don't know whether you can see that on camera. We aren't getting bitten, but anyway, here's where we are. Why I do not know why I like to talk like this, pet. The fog on the tain is all main, all main. How are the lads? <laughs> <laughs> what are the Geordie doing now? That's it. <laughs> this is Geordie's crag. There you go. How are you, pet? I need a, I need a Greg's and a, a Newcastle Brown Hill. A Nuki Brown. A now, that doesn't look like a bad place to pitch. But I think there's a better place around the corner. But if not, we might come back here. What do you think to that? Not entirely what, sure what this is, but we'll go and have a look. Said it's 20 metres away, so if you've got 15 minutes, you know, take a break. Have a look at some poacher stones. <laughs> Kathleen Payne poetry stones. Ah. The human world is carved by your whispers in the passing air. Pretty, isn't it? Anybody else did it, they call it uh, graffiti. Oh no, if you're a poet, it's all right. Words say the waters flow, rocks weather, ferns 
wither, winds blow, times go. Oh, that's good. She wrote a lot of rubbish this last bit looks of it. Found a beach and a picnic bench. So we decided to get the map out. Now I previously had a, 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 an inclination to go to what looked a good place on the map which is actually just a farmer's field. Now if I'd have studied the map a bit better I'd have seen that there was a path that goes nowhere near it and it is a farmer's field and there's cattle in there so we're not we're not going on that. So we're going to carry on around the corner and the path is going to take us very near um, some places called one's uh, Devil's Chimney uh, which looks to be like a forested area straight onto the actual um, water's edge. Uh, there's Purse Point which looks to be kind of like a finger pointing out into the uh, lake which is also forested um, and there's sort of other forested areas as we keep on going around so that's pretty cool. Um, Lily's done some uh, like a trail mix which does anybody else call it trail mix or is it just us? Because I watch all that American rubbish. No, it was labelled the Morrison's. It was, wasn't pack. it? It was labelled as So what? Was it Morrison's one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, you've added M and M's to it, haven't you? Mm -hmm. um, just check my sugar level. Sugar level. I've been sort of fighting with low sugars uh, for a couple of hours, haven't I? I've kept on eating, but not been able to keep my sugar level up. So we're just going to take five and then crack on around the corner and see what's what. It's not five o'clock yet, is it? I was just going five. Yeah, so it's uh, nearly five o'clock. So we've got, what, three, four hours with a light. No problem. Angletown is still uh, about five, maybe even six kilometres away, uh, which is always a, an option. But uh, if we could, you know, get camped out looking over this, I think that that would be pretty cool. So we're going to try and do that. Right, sit rep. Um, I haven't had the map out anywhere near as enough, uh, enough, and I was guesstimating where I was when I said we were at Silver Bay. We're not, we haven't travelled that far at all. I used um, a Christmas present from Nigel and uh, actually found out exactly where we are. Uh, so uh, there's still a chance that Silver Bay could be a wild camp spot. We're just going to uh, get down there and have a look. This is the first time Lisa's walked as far as we've walked with a uh, pack for wild camping and she's just walked up this hill saying oh I'm getting tired now but at the top of this hill is this Is it worth it Lisa? Yeah So just over this rock is a Lily squatting, having a having a re west, a, re, a wee rest, a call of nature, you might say. How are you doing? Right, so we think this is um, going to be our last supply of water. Now you can see it's not a particularly like deep, you know, stream or anything. So I actually brought one of those. Uh, well, brought an empty water bottle, uh, like Nigel brought, you know, and um, use that to get the water out of there into the platypus, and it works great. So um, thanks for that, Nigel, and it works. Please. This is completely unplanned, the whole trip, um, and this is what we've got. Now, I'm pretty excited about this view, and there's that one there as well, but I mean, this is a bit all right, like. Uh, we are getting ever closer to deciding where we're gonna pitch. So at the water, but that, at the minute, looks good. What I see when I'm over there, who knows? The 
This is it, this is it. Oh, this time I know I am camping. This will do, babe. Do you like that? Yeah. No round of applause? Oh, thank you. Nothing more beautiful than that. What, your flag? Aye. Not even jet off the gladiators is as beautiful as that. She, she was, I bet she'd be a bit battered now. Got more? Hang on, hang on, just like. Yeah, what's a bit more? Less than that. Yeah, a bit more. Whoa! That's perfect. That is more. done. No, that's beautiful. That. Oh, at least. Do you need more than that? I know. Not that much. Do you need more than that? I think I'm stupid. Hard pot. Yeah. Odd pot! Yeah. Need more than that. Go on then. That's too much, is that? More Bit on. more. Right then, you pop that pan back on, I'll fill it back up with water, and then you can. Must be two portions, isn't it? So this is the the vegan mint gravy mixed into it. Uh, did it? Did you fry the onions? Yeah. Then some soy corn. And it looks just like it did when I put. No. Mm, looks good. I think we so. Uh, give it a go. Lisa's finding tent life very hard. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry now. Honestly, it's taken like all my life just just to get this far. It's painful. <laughs> it's so painful. You're also painful. Right. I'm going to turn the light out on the pole of separation. What do you think of trail star? It's good, yeah. Big enough? Yeah. Wet winds Once died I down. I got myself organised. Are you warm enough? Yeah, I think so. Right. Have you got your feet on the bottom? What, am I touching the bottom of the trail star? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, night YouTube. Um, good morning. And that, that is probably one of the best um, 
the best wake up views that I think I've ever had while camping. It's been on my bucket list to do for a long while, uh, this particular location. Very pleased. Um, trail Star stayed up, um, we had no wind at all, no rain, um, nothing to complain about. Uh, you could just see the lights over here at Glen Ridding. So this morning um, we're going to rattle down this track and then uh, when the, because the lake actually ends not far, uh, f you know, much further down than Glen Ridding, and then we're going to go to the ferry port, have a look at the times and get a ferry all the way back up to, to Pooley Bridge, all the way up here, and that's where we've left the car. Um, good, good camp. You lived, didn't you, Lace? Did you enjoy it? Good, good. Right then, this is us away. Um, everything that we brought up with us, we have taken back. Um, we've had a, um, a wet white wash, uh, clean the teeth. Um, all the debris come with us. Everything uh, is as it should be. So ready to start our walk. Right, we're just at Patsdale Mountain Rescue Base now. Um, Nigel, in his early years out on the fells, um, had a problem um, and he had to call Mountain Rescue out. So I'm just going to pop in there real quick and um, just give each and every one of them a big hug and just say thanks for saving my Nigel. I'm just going to go in there now. Right, that's how we're getting to Pooley Bridge. Um, we haven't done the Yields Water round, we've done the Yields Water semicircle. Um, it's 11 o'clock, by the time we get up there it'll be uh, as near as damn it dinner time and uh, that'll do for us. Yeah, busy. How much is it to get up to Pooley Bridge for two adults? It's about 20 quid. If I'd have known I'd have swum. <laughs> 